What I like about working with dogs, I can chat on the phone, I can listen to radio, I can do my own thing, and um, they never complain. <laughs> For 30 years, Jean Vignola spent many a day tending to her furry clients at her four-on-the-floor pet washing and grooming business. That was until she turned 65, had a colonoscopy, and doctors unleashed some bad news. She had a number of growths called polyps, and there was a possibility they were cancerous. They removed two small polyps. A couple minutes later, there was the surgeon telling me that I needed a resection. It, it happened all that fast. In order to get to another polyp deep inside her colon, doctors said they needed to remove part of her colon. She would need major surgery. That's when Jean grabbed her iPad and combed the internet for alternatives. There she learned about an innovative procedure called CELLS being done at Tufts Medical Center. I just can't believe that everyone doesn't know about this surgery. I, I ju it just blows my mind. CELL stands for Combined Endoscopic and Laparoscopic Surgery. It combines the technique of a colonoscopy with minimally invasive surgery, and we use this to, to facilitate uh, the removal of polyps that aren't removable by traditional means. Doctors James Yu and Lillian Chen specialize in the CELLS procedure. Working together, one doctor assesses the colon from the rectum, the other makes tiny incisions in the abdomen. So they attack the polyp from two separate locations. Dr. Uh, Yu usually goes in laparoscopically to help assist me while I perform the endoscopic portion of the procedure. Um, and that allows us to uh, potentially be more aggressive or be able to manipulate the polyp in such a way, move the polyp around um, so that we can actually take it out uh, when uh, most conventional means cannot do that. There is a small risk that, that those those polyps might have cancer in them. The, um, the incidence of that is actually relatively low. Only about 10 or 15 percent of patients in this situation actually have cancer. So the majority are getting a bowel resection that they could avoid if we're able to remove the polyp. It's very rewarding because most of these patients are extremely happy that we're able to save their colon um, and that they go back to being, they go back to work, uh, they go back to their daily, you know, everyday lives, you know, much faster than if they had to recover from a colon surgery. Jean could not be more thankful. She can continue to keep her best friends looking good. Just getting to keep all my body parts. I really don't think I, I, a day ever goes by that I don't count my blessings. <laughs>